Uh, we're going to check now with the press conference. Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz. Right to peaceful protest, but what is happening now has nothing to do with Freddie Gray. It has to do with opportunists who are out there to commit a crime, and we will not tolerate criminal activity here in Baltimore County. We have a well-trained police department fully prepared to keep our communities safe. Now, there are a lot of rumors out there circulating in the county, and the chief advises at this time that they have been investigated and that they are unsubstantiated, but you'll hear more about that from Chief Johnson. Let me just close with a very clear message. Go about your normal business here in Baltimore County at school, at work, and at home. Thank you. Chief. Well, good afternoon. As many of you know, Baltimore County Police Department has dedicated resources to the city to help deal with this current public safety threat. In fact, just yesterday, over 60 officers were placed inside the city, but just as many were in support of those units as well, in addition to aviation use and in backfilling state police calls for service so they can be deployed in the city to do their job. And we continue to be in a position to provide that service until the National Guard and other law enforcement are moved in. As the county executive stated, uh, we have been working for the last several days on numerous Facebook, social media threats or efforts to organize and bring people together. Who's writing these things? Who's putting these things out? Well, they could be 12-year-old children that live on the other side of the county. They could be other individuals that truly are trying to assemble. However, we place a lot of work, a lot of effort, and a lot of investigation to verifying these circumstances. There are no credible threats to our citizens, our businesses, or other property in Baltimore County. Despite that, though, preemptively, we've taken action to make sure we have adequate staffing, restructuring our schedule, bringing people in, in some cases uh, uh, allowing overtime, uh, to make sure that we have the personnel needed to respond to any particular circumstance that may develop in the county. So with that, uh, I think the county executive I will take any questions you may have. Mr. Executive, you've had uh, plenty of resources sent to the city. Your, your department's depleted already, and they have uh, state police and National Guard there. If uh, the need resources are necessary up here, uh, will some of that be able to shift towards the county? Well, uh, our, our force is uh, well-trained and well-prepared. We think we can adequately meet uh, any concerns that might arise. Uh, obviously, the question you asked is, is, uh, is a question asked down the road uh, if it comes to that, but right now we don't think we're at that stage at all and that our Baltimore County police officers can handle uh, any issue right now. If it gets to that stage, are state police available to uh, move up to the county or the National Guard? Is uh, I have not had any direct conversations with the governor or his folks regarding either the state police or the National Guard. Uh, obviously, we're, uh, 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 we're, we're uh, content with them uh, uh, doing what they need to do in Baltimore City. Uh, we are providing uh, some supplemental force in Baltimore City at the mayor's request, uh, and uh, 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 we'll continue to do that for the next day or so. Uh, but we also are uh, fully prepared for any issue that might arise here in the county. Okay, Mr. Chief, Chief, um, how many you people do you have uh, in Baltimore City? When did they go and when were you requested by the mayor? Uh, we have uh, 50 personnel right now in the city. Uh, uh, we had a conversation with uh, uh, the Commissioner Batts, uh, had a conversation with Chief Johnson that we then reviewed. And then I responded back to the mayor that we will be providing that personnel. And when did they request it? When did you get back to them? It, uh, it was yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon. It was 5 or 6 in the afternoon. Chief, can you answer this, please? You say there's no credible threats. However, we've heard about things happening with social insecurity, adding Owens Mills. T. Rowe Price has closed their Owens Mills. Security administration has closed. So what are we to make of that? And what... You know, what can you tell us? I mean, I know you're saying go about your business, but still, that's kind of scary and threatening. But Lisa, let me, before the chief jumps in, let me, uh, let me just clarify. Uh, those private institutions that are closing did so without consulting with us. 
Uh, and had they done so, uh, I, I believe we would have given them a different message. And that's the message we're offering today, that everyone should continue to go about their normal business here in Baltimore County at home, at work, at school. So are you poised around the security Woodlawn area? We have devoted adequate resources throughout Baltimore County to address numerous potential hot spots or problem areas. Uh, certainly we believe we have adequate resources within the county to deal with what we have encountered and what the future may bring us over the next several days. So residents may not notice these in those particular areas in, partic in, in, in Owens Mills and security in particular? No, I think there actually are. Uh, this, is, this is not a situation where you need covert presence. You need that omnipresence, that visual uh, officer, their equipment, and I think that goes a long way. And t I think one of the key things is do it preemptively, not wait for a problem to develop. And that's what we're doing. And, and Lisa, just to clarify, uh, when, when there's social media out there and the, the public is seeing that, our police department is also seeing that. And they're doing follow-up investigation as to what the sources of that information were and perhaps even visiting the the individuals who might have sent that out to clarify the situation. So that's what's being done proactively. We can't control that information that goes out. All we can do is provide rumor control to say uh, we don't believe you need to do anything out of the ordinary. We're aware of the situation, but we don't see any need to close schools. We don't see any need to close businesses. Uh, things should keep continuing to go on normal here in Baltimore County. Do you, do you have uh, an intelligence? I have to repeat the question. We are looking at numerous locations throughout the county. We find none of these postings to be credible at this time, but we are preemptively preparing for, and we have personnel stationed all throughout the county. And we're constantly monitoring social sites just like you are. It's another new challenge for public safety today. It does drain your resources, but you have to do it. Chief, what are those resources to have to monitor those social sites? We have a very robust uh, analytical process, and we have personnel to sit and study what you study each and every day, what the public sees each and every day. And we have other techniques and strategies and technologies to try to drill down and separate <coughs> what we should be devoting our resources to. So we feel very confident that in Baltimore County there are no credible threats to our public, our businesses, or our economy. Chief, what signs or indicators, and this to the mm -hmm. county executive as well, are there that give you confidence that there is no credible threat? Uh, what do you see that says mm -hmm. we're, we're in good shape? We're looking for established individuals or groups that have a history of criminal or uh, the disobedience uh, 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 structure. Uh, there are many techniques and tools that we use to try to again separate what may be a 12-year-old kid posting something with a scary photograph that's you know then sent along to others that has no means to transport himself from Essex over to Woodline. So you have to take the time to do this. It's very exhaustive, and uh, certainly it's a part of, of public safety today. Chief Palmer, season <coughs> curfew. And are you concerned or do you expect any of those people during the evening hours to drift into the county? We are concerned and certainly we're preparing for that. Uh, we did experience last night two burglaries where officers immediately entered the building and arrested the individuals. But we experienced no other uh, circumstance last night. There was no disobedience in Baltimore County last night. It was a very peaceful night in Baltimore County. Let, let me just also clarify the fact that there might have been two burglaries last night are not necessarily related to events that are taking place in Baltimore City. We, we'd like to think that Baltimore County is absolutely crime free, but we're, uh, we're as close to that as possible. Have you been in touch with the mayor or the governor uh, to uh, see if there are needs um, to, to be able to adjust the resources to the county? Uh, the only communication I've had with the mayor right now is just our offer of assistance and her uh, recognition and appreciation that we uh, were able to provide those officers. Uh, you know, the mayor and I uh, uh, have each other's cell phone. Uh, we, we communicate regularly all year long, uh, and obviously uh, I'm here if, if, uh, if the mayor needs us. Why were after school activities canceled that you're saying canceled activities? 
No, I appreciate you saying that. Um, uh, this is the reason why we're actually trying to get out the message that uh, it's okay to maintain regular uh, uh, business here in Baltimore County. Parents have been indicating concern, and a couple of the private schools in Baltimore County have chosen to close. Uh, uh, parents are indicating that they don't want their children, for some reason, to participate in extracurricular activities. Uh, this, I did speak to the superintendent, and he was concerned that uh, they wouldn't have enough children to field the teams and that they made a decision that it was easier just to cancel it. But I want to clarify once again, it has nothing to do with a safety issue whatsoever. And in fact, our messaging for the parents are, please let your kids stay in school. Please let your kids uh, uh, keep doing the things that they do day to day. There's no reason for anyone to deviate from a normal routine here in Baltimore County. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen.